In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the extrude command in AutoCAD to create solid objects. First of all, let's talk about what types of objects can be extruded into a solid object. It has to be a closed shape, so something like a circle works. A polyline, like this rectangle, would work. Here I have separate lines. This would not work. Those would need to be joined together. And here we have some overlapping lines. This would not work either. So we need to have some joined shapes. So first I will begin with the extrude command. It's here on the home tab in the modeling panel. And I'll simply start the command and select the object that I wish to extrude or objects if you wanna do multiple ones at the same time and then press enter at your keyboard. Then you can simply specify a distance. Now notice the positive direction of Z so if I put a positive value in, it's going to go up. If I put a negative value in, it's going to go down. So let's say that I want this to go up four. So I'll put in four and enter. You can see I'm in the wireframe mode. So I'll go ahead and switch this to the shaded mode so that we can see that a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and extrude the second shape. And as I said, a positive value goes up. So a negative value will go down. I'll go negative five for this one. And you can see that it goes down from the original sketch instead of up like the first one did. So as I mentioned, in order to extrude something, it needs to be a closed shape. Let's look what happens when it's not a closed shape. I'll choose extrude and I'll go ahead and select the four lines here and press enter. And what it is going to do is basically create surfaces. So it is not an enclosed solid shape. It is instead a series of surfaces. So that's not what I want. I want to make sure that I get those into a polyline. So if you're not already familiar with it, we can use the join command to take care of that. I'll click the modify drop down and choose join. You can also type J and enter at your keyboard. I'll select these and press enter. And now it's a joined polyline. And now I can go ahead and use the extrude command to create a solid out of that. This next one here needs to be trimmed up before I can go ahead and turn it into a solid. So I'll just simply use my trim command and clean up the overlaps here. And then this time, instead of using the join command, I'm going to take a look at the region command. I'll select the draw drop down and choose the region command here. Just simply select these objects and press enter and it's going to create a region. Now the difference between a region and a polyline is a region is actually an infinitely thin solid shape. So you can see that it actually shaded it for me. But in terms of extruding, it works the same way. I can select the shape and input a value. I'll say negative six and we can see my extruded shape there. One advantage that this particular command extrude has over press pull is that it doesn't leave behind any sketches that you have to erase. So you can see that the sketches are fully consumed by these solid objects. However, one disadvantage is that it doesn't automatically subtract shapes. So if I have a hole in this shape, there's no way to just extrude the main middle portion like we could with the press pull command. With the press pull command, I could get that all in one. With the extrude command, we'd have to go ahead and extrude these both as solids. And then we would have to come back with the Boolean operation to subtract the inside cylinder later. That's beyond the scope of this lesson. So we'll look at that in another video later. To recap, in order to create an extrusion, you have to have a closed shape, whether that be a circle, a polyline, or a region. Then we can extrude it and just simply type in a positive or negative value, depending on which direction we want the shape to go. That concludes this look at using the extrude command to create a solid shape in AutoCAD.